Welcome to Troop Treasurer Training Online Edition. I'm Rebecca and I'll be your guide. This training will take you through the steps of opening a Troop Bank account, give you the requirements for being involved with the Girl Scout Troop account, give suggestions on how to use the Troop's financial resources wisely, and tell you how to update account signers if the need arises. We'll also cover the steps required to complete the year-end financial report due every year by June 30th. After watching this video and to complete Troop Treasurer Training, please return to the training at GSU Online and complete accompanying review. A Girl Scout bank account must be open for each trooper group that plans on accepting funds, spending funds, and or participating in product sales. A minimum of two unrelated signers are required to be on the account, along with the required council signers. The troop signers must be approved volunteers with a current membership and background check on file and cannot have a financial restriction status on their Girl Scout volunteer record. The signers need to be active in the troop or group so that they can verify that the account remains in good standing and funds are being used properly. Once the two signers are verified, they will receive a copy of the bank account agreement. This form is required to be submitted to and approved by Girl Scouts Western Oklahoma staff before an account can be opened. Troops are able to choose either Arvis Bank or Bank First as their troops bank and once we receive the bank account agreement, we will be able to start the process of opening your account. Please do not go directly to the bank, as all account signers must be pre-approved by the Girl Scout Finance Department. Troops that do not have access to a Bank First or Arvis location may submit their preferred bank on the bank account agreement. Once this is received and approved, further instructions will be made available regarding the opening of the new account. Please note that per Girl Scout Western Oklahoma Finance Guidelines, Girl Scout Troop Group accounts cannot be interest-bearing and must be a checking account, not a savings account. Once a bank account is established, troops are encouraged to request a debit card for their account and will need to purchase at least a small book of checks for reimbursements and other expenses that a debit card cannot be used for. Troops will also need to fill out a check sync form that will help protect the account against any bad checks written to the troop. The check sync form is available on our website or can be requested at the time the bank account agreement is approved. Now that the paperwork is completed, the account is open, and money from dues or product sales have come in, it's time for the girls to decide how they want to spend their funds. Remember, Girl Scout funds are girl earned and girl spent. How the funds are used needs to be a decision made by the entire troop, not just the leaders, parents, or a few select girls from the troop. Funds can be used to purchase badges and patches, journey and guidebooks, uniform components, pay for celebrations and ceremonies, community service projects, field trips, and more. Let the girls come up with some ideas and then have the troop vote. It's amazing the ideas that girls at all levels can come up with. If you aren't sure if an expense is allowed or not by Girl Scout financial guidelines, be sure to refer to pages four and five of the Troop Treasurer Guide or contact the Troop Finance Specialist at the Girl Scout office. In the case of troop finances, it's best to get permission than to ask for forgiveness. As the girls begin to spend their troop's funds, it is the treasurer's responsibility to keep track of the receipts and expenses. All income and expenses must be reported by June 30th of each scouting year using the year-end financial report and will need to include copies or originals of bank statements and receipts. There are resources available on the Girl Scouts of Western Oklahoma website to help troop treasurers and leaders keep track of the troop's funds and help make the year-end financial report easier to complete. The troop dues record tracks each girl and the troop dues she pays. Troop dues vary by troop and are not required. If your troop does decide to charge troop dues, remember to keep the amount realistic and take the financial needs of all of your Scout families into consideration. The detailed cash record form is a great way to record all of the troop's incomes and expenses throughout the year. This is especially useful at the end of the year when filling out the year-end financial report and a copy can be submitted with the year-end financials to better show how funds were spent. The troop reimbursement form is used for leaders, volunteers, parents, and other adults who make a purchase for the troop and needs to be reimbursed. This form allows these funds to be tracked and gives the troop treasurer a record of who was reimbursed, what the purchase was for, and which check was used to make the reimbursement. When adults fill out this form, they will also need to provide the receipt to verify charges or approved for Girl Scout accounts. As the checks and balances for the troop, the person who receives reimbursement or payment should never be the person who signs the check. For example, if the troop treasurer needs to be reimbursed, the co-signer on the account should be the one to verify the receipt and reimbursement form and write the check. On a recommended monthly basis, but no less than quarterly basis, 
Make sure to have bank statements, receipts, and any financial forms available in a binder or other format for the girls, volunteers, and parents to see how the troop's funds are being used. With troop funds, transparency is key, and girls as well as adults should be kept informed on their troop's financial health. The financial skills learned in Girl Scouts will help girls better understand their personal finances in the future. On a final note, even though troop funds legally belong to Girl Scouts of Western Oklahoma, the sales tax exemption is not available for troop or group expenses. This is a law enacted by the Oklahoma Tax Commission and cannot be overruled by the Girl Scouts staff. The role of the troop treasurer is to ensure that funds in the troop are used within Girl Scout guidelines, benefit the girls of the troop, and are spent in a girl-led manner. The role of the Girl Scout staff is to oversee that Girl Scout funds are being used properly, recorded, and used by the troop. This is done in three different ways. Every year, every Girl Scout troop, group, and service unit are required to submit a year-end financial report to the Girl Scout Finance Department by June 30th. The year-end financial report form is available online or by request. The form must be filled out and accompanied by the first bank statement of the scouting year, the last bank statement of the scouting year, May or June, depending on your bank statement printing dates, copies or originals of receipts, and copies or originals of any financial forms used by the troop, including the troop reimbursement and detailed record forms. If a troop has a remaining balance of $150 or more in their troop account, an explanation or budget for the remaining funds must be included with the year-end financial report. Finally, all troop signers on the bank account must review the year-end financial report and sign the bottom prior to being submitted to the Girl Scout Finance Department. Throughout the year, troops may also be selected for a random monthly finance review. If your troop is selected, you will be notified by email which month will be reviewed and what items need to be submitted along with a copy of the bank statement. Even if your troop is selected for a random review, you must still submit a year-end financial report by June 30th. Finally, a third review is possible. Parents, leaders, and other volunteers may raise concerns regarding a troop's finances or the finance department may have concerns that need to be addressed. In these cases, the troop leader and or treasurer will be asked to submit bank statements and receipts to be reviewed by the Girl Scout Finance Department. Common red flags include frequent overdrafts on the troop account, bouncing or missing product sales payments, and questionable charges made by a troop. Please note, even if you are selected for a financial review, it does not automatically mean that there is any wrongdoing on a troop's account. Once a random or a concern review is completed, the Girl Scout staff will notify the leader and or the treasurer of the results and follow up as necessary. Anytime a leadership change takes place, the signers on the account need to change or if the troop decides to disband, a troop transition form must be filled out and submitted to the Girl Scout office. This form is available on our website or we request from Girl Scout staff. If the troop is continuing on under new leadership or the signers on the account are changing, the new leaders and signers will need to complete troop treasurer training and be an approved volunteer with a current membership and background check on file and cannot have a financial restriction status on their Girl Scout volunteer record. Once the troop transition form is submitted and all other steps are completed, a new bank account agreement form will need to be submitted to update the troop's account. Though it may seem like a lot of information, being a troop treasurer can be a very rewarding endeavor. Remember that you are not alone in your duties and that your troop treasurer, troop leader, service unit treasurer, and the Girl Scout staff are here to help with further training, questions, or ideas. Girl Scouts of Western Oklahoma offers treasurer classes twice a year during Girl Scout University, has a written treasurer's guide and other resources available on our website, and staff is available to help you with your troop finance questions. Please remember that you can also return to this online video at any time for a refresher on troop finance. Thank you for participating in this online training and for taking on the leadership role of Troop Treasurer.